Hello stampers! I am excited to show another project to you today. We are going to make a very sweet and simple card using one of the note cards and envelopes from Stampin' Up! and the fabulous Festival of Trees stamp set and bundle which comes with the tree punch. I highly recommend adding this stamp set and punch to your collection and if you haven't signed up for Stamps in the Mail Club yet uh, be sure to drop me a note. I have some extra kits available and I would love to get one in the mail to you so that you can make this project exactly as I'm showing it. You can even watch the video while you're making it. It's like a class at home. So let's get stamping. So in our packet here we have our pre-embossed note card which is done with a filigree um, border folder which is really a gorgeous one and then some uh, pieces here that we're going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp though and I'm going to pull in my paper piercing mat uh, which I love and it is my base for everything photopolymer so when you stamp with these um, clear stamps from Stampin' Up that are the photopolymer ones you want to make sure that you have sort of a mat underneath your stamping that has some give that is going to make a huge difference in the image um, that you get from your stamps so I've got this mounted here on my block one thing I love about photopolymer there's no mounting so um, you don't have to apply the stickers or put the rubber or you know anything like that they're pretty much open it and use it. And the ink color that I'm going to use is Soft Sky. So I'll open this up and I'm going to ink my sort of the viney stamp here and go ahead and stamp it. And then I'm going to grab my tree punch. And as you're probably aware with Stampin' Up! punches they're meant to be used upside down. So undo the little latch there so that the punch opens and then my cardstock is going to go in right here and because I'm using my punch upside down I can move that around so that I get it lined up exactly where I want it and then pinch it to um, punch out my tree. So now I have a set of trees here and some scrap paper left over and before I get rid of my scrap I'm going to go ahead and grab the um, greeting here that says a merry little wish and I'll stick that on a clear block I'm gonna stamp that right here on my scratch um, there we go pretty there we go pretty light and then we'll kinda clean that baby off and the greeting that goes inside the card says for lots of joy at Christmas and so I'm gonna ink that up and pull our card over and then I'm going to stamp that right there in the center of our card so for lots of joy at Christmas. Alright, then we are going to close up our ink, grab our card front and start putting stuff down. So I have a Last Lagoon tree that's already punched for me in the Stamps the Mail Club kit and I'm going to stick that there in the center. Then I'm going to grab my Stampin' Dimensionals and put my punch tree, the one that I just stamped here with you, uh, just a little bit lower here off to the side. And then this last tree that is from the All Is Calm Designer Series paper, I'm going to make an embellishment for. And so in the Stamps the Mail Club kit is one of the little silver brads. And then included in Stamps the Mail is this package of frosted sequins, which are in the holiday catalog. Um, and I love them. So I'm going to grab one of these snowflakes. So I'm going to pop the brad through the center of the snowflake sequin. Just pretend you can see that if you can't. It's there, I promise. All right. And then I'm going to take my ribbon. I'm going to fold it over. And then I'm going to fold it again. And this is the um, seam binding here seam binding ribbon. It's a really neat texture. And then I'm just going to take my brad and pop it right through all four layers of the ribbon. So we have this cute little folded embellishment. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to squish my brad tails back together. And I'm going to pop it right through the um, designer series paper too. Alright, if you want to you could um, use a, I'm going to move it up actually. I don't like how low it was. So I'm going to move it just a little higher and the ribbon's going to cover up the first hole I punched. Shh, don't tell anyone. I know I just put it on YouTube, right? <laughs> but anyway, there we covered up our first hole. Um, and I'm going to spread the tails on that brad to attach that. Um, you could also attach this with a mini glue dot. And then our ribbon ends are not very pretty here, so I'm just going to clean them up here just with a little pair of... Oh, I want that more angled with my paper snips. 
This is a pretty quick card unless you choose to take forever with your ribbon ends. <laughs> Alright, so then this baby, I'm going to go ahead and pop another Stampin' Dimensional on the back. I'm going to layer that here on our card front. And then we just need our greeting. So remember that greeting that I punt stamped earlier? I'm going to trim it pretty close here with my paper snips. And we are going to cut these into little pieces. So we'll leave Wish, Little, and a Mary. There you go. We don't have to cut the Mary separate. And besides, threes are, threes are just good things, right? Um, they're good design elements. So I'm going to use my green lid glue, also known as multi-purpose liquid glue. I had somebody um, on a YouTube video just ask me why I called it green lid glue. And uh, it's because it has a green lid. <laughs> so I love all the questions and comments on my YouTube channel. So feel free to leave those. They're just fun. Oh, and then I've got Wish next. So I'm going to take Wish and stick it down here. And this is why I really like using the green lid glue. It's ultra sticky. And so you can stick it so that it just bonds just a tiny bit to that little filigree design. And it will stay there. So, And then a little more glue on. Oh, little. Remember, just a little, not a lot. And then we'll stick our greeting down there. So there, oh, we didn't stamp on our, here, where's my stamp? Okay, we'll grab our, our envelope here because the note cards and envelopes come together as a package, which makes them a really great um, quick card thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tree right there on my envelope. And you know what, if I was addressing it, I would just address it right there to or something. So we cover up our little blurb there. See, so here you can pretend you didn't see that. Um, but when you ink your stamps, remember that with the fun or the nice foam ink pads from Stampin' Up, you really don't have to push very hard. So if you can avoid getting inky blocks, you're in good shape. Anyway, there is our first Stamps in the Mail Club card for this month with a Festival of Trees stamp set and coordinating tree punch. I absolutely adore this stamp set. So get ready for some more project ideas from this one. Um, and if you'd like to make these cards exactly at home the way I'm showing them to you now, then go ahead and drop me a note to sign up for Stamps in the Mail Club um, the month of October. This is the October 2014 kit. So thank you so much for watching and I will stamp with you soon.